Hey, what's up? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. We'd we'll definitely appreciate it. Tonight we've got a beer, and I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, this is going to be a beer from Untitled Art uh, in collaboration with Angry Chair. And this is going to be their Midnight Toffee Stout, coming in at 12.3% alcohol by volume. This is an imperial stout with cacao nibs, vanilla beans, Belgian candy syrup, and milk sugar. So, um, sounds like a pastry stout to me. Um, I haven't had one in a while from Untitled Art, so I'm looking forward to it. This one was canned on October 13th, so a little over a month old. Seems like they collab with Angry Chair on a pretty regular basis. Um, wow, this glass. Uh, is this thing clean? Smells clean. Looks kind of weird. Uh, we'll just roll with it. Pouring a kind of a dark cola looking color. Alright. So, yeah. Beer comes in pretty much pitch black. I uh, can't see anything through it. Uh, I'm getting a nice uh, dark khaki head on there. Uh, yeah, it's fairly small though, it, it's dissipating fairly quickly. I do see a good bit of carbonation bubbles flowing up, and it's kind of a mix between uh, small bubbles and medium sized bubbles. I'm expecting a little bit of lacing on this one, especially due to that ABV, um, you know, being 12%. So, uh, yeah, it has the appearance of a nice pastry stout. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in this thing. Holy Moses, okay, so, uh, dude, okay, so it's got like this huge, huge chocolate syrup type of thing, so those cacao nibs and that Belgian candy syrup are working tremendously together. I mean, this literally smells like a, if you get like vanilla ice cream and just squirt like a ton of the Hershey's syrup in there, that's what this smells like. So I'm getting a really nice, a fairly large dose of uh, vanilla, which is a lot of times hidden more so uh, in these type of beers, but this is definitely, definitely standing out. I'm getting that candied syrup for sure. And it smells like chocolate. I mean, so it does have a nice like toffee type thing going on because it's got a little bit of a roast too. But almost just completely dominated by that like chocolate syrup type of vibe so smells like it's going to be a really sweet beer um hopefully not overly sweet um, i will say it doesn't smell boozy on the nose so let's see what it's got in store this is right out of the fridge too by the way so um these high high abvs i like to drink them cold so let's go ahead and knock this out cheers Wow. God. <laughs> that's not a... <clears throat> God. Uh, that's really sweet. <laughs> like, it wasn't like, knock me off my rocker, man. Um, okay, so it's very, very sweet. Like, too sweet for me. Uh, but I will say, the flavor is phenomenal. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. It literally is reminding me a vanilla ice cream mixed with that Hershey's candied like syrup, just like the sticky syrup. It's what it tastes like. And it's got like this huge, just vanilla, chocolate, almost just, it's really reminding me of a dessert. I'll just say that. I mean, that candied syrup is a really cool addition to the, to the cacao nibs. And then that vanilla is just popping, like more so than than I can remember as of late, as far as like vanilla being present in a, in a stout, this is just like ridiculous. All right, let me, now that I know what it's gonna taste like, maybe I won't freak out. Nice bit of carbonation in there too. This is a full body beer though. I mean, at least lighter side of full, um, if not just full. Um, 
it's 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 viscous. It's um, it's just del. Um, what's the word? Decadent. I was gonna say delicate. I was like, that's not right. It's decadent. It's luscious. It's soft, like super creamy, smooth. Just packed, absolute packed, full of chocolate, vanilla, and candied syrup, and it is just crazy good. Like the sweetness wasn't as overwhelming on that uh, that in the, that sip as it was on the initial one, but it's still really sweet. Like it's hanging out, like it's coating your mouth. It's just kind of sitting there, like just this sweet type of thing, just riding and just hanging out. Um, you know, I'm not getting a lot of malt. Maybe a, just a hint of like a dark malt, like a almost a, just a slightest roasted note, but it's not very, it's not coffee-like to me. This thing is ridiculously good. I mean, it really is. It's like my lips are like sticky from it though. Um, this is not something that I would want to drink 16 ounces of. I'm going to try to see if the wife will split this with me. Because this is just like a little too much for the palate. Like it's just really, really sweet. I would love to know what the finishing gravity is on this beer. Um, yeah, 12.3%. I mean, crazy though. You're not picking up the booze. You're not picking up that alcohol. Um, you know, you can tell it's a bigger beer, but I would never guess 12, 12.3%. 12 so they did a really good job at hiding the alcohol. Um, yeah, I don't know that there's much else to say about this one. I really don't. Um, it's really tasty, really well done. I really think they knocked this one out of the park. So, um, as far as a rating on this one, I'm going to go, I'm going to go four or five on this one. I think this is just like world-class pastry stout, you know, if you want to go that route. Um, I just think those flavors mesh really well. Um, you know, and, and they created something truly dessert-like, just decadent, um, just very, just, I, I don't know. It's it's like seriously a dessert in a glass. Like to me, it's literally reminded me of like vanilla ice cream and, and that chocolate syrup. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go four or five. Let me know if you've had this one. We'd love to hear from you. It's fairly new, um, but I do think they distribute fairly uh, broad. So um, let me know if you've had this one and uh, let me know what you thought of it. And if you liked the video, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think about that. And if you like what I'm doing, you know, even just a little bit more than hitting that like button, maybe you'll hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.